Hey guys, how you doing today? It's your girl, Miss Dabs. Thank you for coming to my kitchen. That was delicious dishes you two deserve. So guys, as I said, we're making chocolate chip cookies and cheesecake brownies. I'm showing you we need Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix. We need Betty Crocker fudge brownie. Two packages of 8 ounce cream cheese. We're going to make sure it's soft. Two eggs. One can of Magnolia sweet condensed milk. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. I was going to use the icing sugar, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to go with the Magnolia sweet condensed milk. So we're going to be using a muffin tin. I'm using the one with 12 slots in it. And I'm going to show you how we're going to assemble it. I'm going to put some cooking spray, some Joy Baker's Joy, in the bottom of the tin so the cake won't stick. We're going to do the chocolate chip cookies. We're going to make it, then we're going to freeze it. We're going to roll it up after we mix the mixture together to make the chocolate chip cookies. Then we're going to roll it in a... Um, saran piece of paper the saran wrap and then we're going to roll it up and turn it like into a cookie dough loaf and then we're going to cut some pieces out to fit into the bottom of the tin to make the chocolate chip cookie cheesecake brown so guys i'm adding the baking joy to the bottom of the muffin tin Now I'm going to make the package of chocolate chip cookies. So guys, this is our cookie dough, right? So I mixed it all up, got it together. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on a piece of saran wrap. Let's sit this cookie dough in the freezer for a good 30 minutes. Be right back. Okay, guys, so this is the brownie mix. I just mixed that together. We're going to sit that aside in another bowl, and I'm going to let that get a little cold as well, okay? guys can see it right oh then we're going to start on our cheesecake mixture i have two eight ounce containers of softened cream cheese then i added one egg i'm about to add another we're going to mix this up guys At this point now, after I added the nutmeg, I'm beginning to mix all the ingredients together. Oh, 
Okay, guys, so we have the chocolate chip cookies down in the base of the pan. Then I'm going to scoop brownie mix. You really don't even need a whole scoop unless you have the real thick, unless you have the real thick um pan. And guys, this is so good and moist. On a nice fall evening, you can have this for a dessert. Like I said, you can use it for the holidays to cook it. Whatever you want to do. Just make sure all your ingredients are at least cold so you don't put them in a pan and it all runs over top of each other. I mean, it's going to bake that way anyway, but you just want each um, ingredient to stand out. So now the next step is to add the cream cheese um, mix on top. Okay, guys, so I have the chocolate chip cookies on the bottom with the brownies in the middle. So I was able to squeeze 17 of them out here. I had to do the math. No, not 17. 15. Okay, so now we're going to put the scoop of the cream cheese filling on top. So I'm going to clean up some of the um, mixture off the pan because I'm just a clean cook like that. Just going to fill in little spots just to squeeze that meat a little bit more. Now the rest of this cheesecake mixture that I have, I'm probably going to use that for like a little small uh, muffin tin again and put graham crackers in the bottom of it. All right, guys, that's it. So let me clean this off. Then I'm going to put this in a 350 degree oven. All right, guys, I'm going to clean this off. I'll be back. I'm going to. These are the chocolate chip brownie cheesecake bites. They look so freaking yummy, guys. Okay, let me put some on the display case. Look at these guys. These are the chocolate chip brownie cheesecake bites. Look at these guys. These are the chocolate chip brownie cheesecake bites. Look, guys, you get the brownie, the cheesecake, the chocolate cookie, the chocolate chip cookie. Oh, my God, these things are heavenly. Look at that. Mmm. That is delicious. Thank you for watching.